What's Marl from Black Feminine TV? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> it's always comfortable when you have a season two because now the audience can get invested in watching these shows. You sure. know, I think there's there's a glut of TV shows out there, and so like, you know, you don't know about the first season. When you see the renew, you're like, okay. Now nah, I can watch it, you know. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no marathon to try to get it all in. So now that we're going into season two, what are the changes we're gonna get with your characters? Busy? <laughs> um. Well, listen. We, you know, I'm. By the way, totally with you. Like sometimes people ask me what I watch, and I'm like, I don't know HGTV. I can't even pick a TV show. There's too many. Um, and I do the same thing. Like I will wait and see if a show, if I hear everybody talking about it or if it's coming back for another season before I jump in. Um, and we're so grateful for season two, especially because the people that found the show immediately are rabid fans of the show. Um, and we're really proud of season one and how, how much fun and joy we had making it. Um, so in season two, we find my character Summer, uh, you know, is getting a divorce from Kev, played by the genius Andrew Rannells. Um, and she's really trying to find her own way as, you know, a part like reevaluating all of the things that she thought were true about her life. Um, and the ladies have a record deal. So they're, they've got a little bit of momentum. They've got a little heat and they want to continue it. Um, and we are following them as they try to make an album and, uh, and also deal with all of their, their life stuff and their at home stuff, um, and their interpersonal relationships. Like my relationship, Summer's relationship with Gloria is always so fun. Um, and they really just like, we just go even further with, you know, helping each other move forward and pushing each other out of our comfort zones. Yeah. As we reunite as people that, we, you know, we haven't seen each other all these years and then in season one, we see each other again. We we hit the road running on all the old relationships, the enmeshments and like who bossed around who. And, you know, it, so in this season, I think as we each try to grow personally, but we're also trying to desperately find this career again could this happen like this hopeful aspirational thing holy shit we were so ballsy to get up on stage and do that at jingle ball now we gotta now we gotta bring the you know bring the proof do we have talent can we can we actually do this and i think gloria also is trying she her character you know similarly to me when i was growing up as a closeted gay person is like you're you're always avoidance it's always about either putting all the attention on someone else because then they won't ask about you and you won't have to be truthful of your own life but she always was avoiding her life and now it feels like she just is really digging in to try to be in her life she wants her, her wife back she wants her career she wants she wants to really feel like she's living the hell out of it every day and that's that's how i feel like this season is for her so our songs are the songs are great this year we have this new album we're putting together um in the show and it's just a really fun season it's really funny and we get to perform hard. at terminal five iconic yeah <clears throat> i was gonna say how hard is it for an old group to come back with a new song as opposed to like live forever on just the classics you know i just went to a concert not that long ago and there was individual singers but i'm thinking about like if it was a a, a group you know all you want to hear is the the old stuff you know oh my god How you go to these concerts and you see some i mean i would go to the doobie brothers i'd go to these all these different groups i saw gladys knight last year and you go to see them and you if they're like if you know if they open with like okay here's a bunch of songs for my new album and you could just feel in the audience people are like we don't want to hear it. It's you like know? we want to dance and sing. We know the words to every song that meant something emotional to us. We want to cry, you know, we want to. And so new music is hard as hell. I don't new know how anyone hard. does it in the real world, like musically, really. Yeah, I mean, well, I think people really struggle with it. That's why there are so many one hit wonders, yeah. right? Like, um, yeah, I think it's, L isn't it LCD Sound System that has an album called Shut Up and Play the Hit? <laughs> <laughs> which is like, it, which is, what, yes, that is like totally what you want. But I do think, you know, especially for our intents and purposes in Girls 5 Eva and what we're, what we're going for 
is really reclaiming the narrative um, and being able to write music that speaks to our personal experiences and not things that are just manufactured and handed to us. Yeah, we don't want to sing the old hits because we know how inappropriate they are now. Well, I mean, <laughs> so many things from the 90s. You're like, wait, <laughs> what it, What was the message in that? Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to lick me where? <laughs> what? But it sells. But it sells. <laughs> it does sell. It does, it does sell. sell. But you know what? I think that our show is proof that like, a, a hot beat and like some anything can be an earworm even if it's like got some ridiculous lyrics behind it you know so like you can yeah. really be saying anything we can change the lyrics so that they're not misogynistic <laughs> they can just no. we can keep it, the beat <laughs> we're back for season two i'm glad it's back um, now people can invest and watch you girls go Yay! crazy keep it going let's talk Thank hopefully you. next Thank year you. season three